Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Mike, I don't know if you're following any of this stuff. I know you do write gun stuff. Are you following anything about, you know, with, with what's going on with the ATF for the last year, maybe the last three months of last year at all? Yeah, I, I mean specifically about the 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 brace mm-hmm. the brace stocks that uh, uh, people are using. Um, I, I think anytime you have an agency that says this product is okay, and then for no apparent reason, after a certain amount of time, says no, nope, that item's not okay. We're changing the classification on it. Now you're. Now, if you have one of these, you're you're a felon. Um, how can that be? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I I'm a person that follows the law, and when they said, "Okay, these arm braces are legal," I went out and I bought a few of them because it's cheaper than doing the paperwork to make an SBR, and I've got SBRs too. But mm-hmm. uh, for them to turn around and say, "You know what?" Uh, we don't think people should have these. They're, we just can't trust people with short AR-15s or AKs or whatever. Well, and not uh, even in a reasonable amount of time. They right. let four million of them get out into the public, and then I'm reasonably certain acquiescing to the political winds said, "Oh, we can now we can start calling these things back and whatever." That that's not what we're about do you guys think they ever really liked the idea of the pistol arm brace you think they ever liked that idea um they must have because atf airs on the side of caution every time and if they have an ability to uh prohibit or outlaw or regulate a specific firearm we do it and then we let the courts or the nra or whoever fight us on it and we win or lose um i i don't know why they picked that fight after they approved them i mean they were approved nationwide well after after they approved them then they came out with that letter a couple years later it says if you shoulder one of these arm braces then you're you're breaking the law and then they, after that, they issued another letter and said, no, we're mistaken. You can shoulder that brace without breaking any laws. So they, they already they already came out and said, you can't do it. And they said, you can do it. And here just recently, they're trying to say, no, you can't. Mm-hmm. And by the way, we want them back. That's just crazy. You know, ATF has this long history of creating crimes to aid an investigation. And we talk about uh, uh, poor Mr. Weaver. We talk about the people at Waco. You look at Fast and Furious and Wide Receiver. These were investigations where they actually created or facilitated a crime for the purpose of an investigation. I, do you agree with that, Vince? Um. I, I think I would probably agree in general terms. However, um, clearly, um, clearly the entrapment issue was proven in Randy Weaver's case. But entrapment or no entrapment, and I'm not justifying it. It was a horrible. I mean, it was a perfect storm. But at no time do you get to shoot a U.S. marshal and refuse to show up at court. You know, if they were to come right now and say, hey, Ben, you got one of these short barrel rivals, you know, we're charging you or anything, I'm not going to stand off and and execute the marshals to come get me or anything. I'm going to go to court and say this is bullshit. You know, you guys approved them when I bought it, and we'll go go the route we go. Um, As far as Waco goes, um, that was a train wreck. And I'm to this day, I will always be proud that somebody stepped up. FBI had that in their lap for years, and they said, this is 
two. It's a powder keg. We're not going to get involved with this cult-like group and everything. Bottom line was that, dude, they were uh, manufacturing and possessing illegal Title II weapons, and they were then looking for the apocalypse, and they got it. Right. Now, I'm not justifying the raid or anything that led up to it or the way we conduct ourselves. I'm just saying we were there for a lawful purpose. We had all the probable cause in the world, and the ultimate investigation proved we were right. They had hand grenades. They had machine guns, converted weapons, no registration, no occupation, uh, occupational tax stamp. Um, they were breaking the law far and wide. So okay. that, that just, I just want to be clear on that. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.